What's up, y'all? It's your boy Reese, man, coming at you. I'm in my ride here. You know, I just want to let y'all know, man, give a quick testimony. It's like, bro, y'all, man, God and brought me through some stuff, man. Bro, like, when I came to the Lord, bro, I'm going to tell you like this, like, bro, I don't know what happened, bro. Like, I was just... Like, when I was 15 and 16, like, you know what I'm saying? I was in my household with my dad and stuff, and some stuff happened to where I had to I had to get out of that atmosphere. I don't want to put too much stuff out. But some stuff happened to, uh, I had to, I had to, you know, that that's not for me to say. But uh, I had to, you know what I'm saying, leave. And it's not nothing, it's not nothing that's, that's, that's really bad for me. But it's just, you know, me... But the thing, I mean, I, so I had to get out of my parent, of my dad's house, bro, and I had to, and I hit Dallas with my mother. And when I first did that, it's like, bro, you know, you know, do, do, do you know, like, and, 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 like, when you come to the Lord, bro, how many devils you face I don't think I've never I don't think I've ever told ever told anybody this before but bro when I first came to the Lord I had so much torment from the enemy I mean I had people just I had people just um like I don't know. It just seemed like it just seemed like the devil was walking. It's like he was watching me everywhere I go. Cause it just seemed like everybody was, you know what I mean? The the change was so different. Like I had such a change. And I think the the thing was like People, people just was like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, the devil, what I was saying is basically like, uh, when you, man, I'm trying to gather my thoughts. I just got, I just got kind of emotional, man. You know, and I just started losing track of what I was thinking. But I'm happy. But I just got to testify. Cause you overcome by the word of your testimony, and you got to continue to testify too. I don't want to make it too long, but. Y'all, when I came to the Lord, it just felt so different. And automatically, when I turned over, when I was, I was, I think I was 17, and I just cried to the Lord. And my mother was like, hey, you need to go to a church. You need to start, you know, you need to find a church somewhere. So I started going to Presbyterian Church down off of Abrams. And um, I think it was Abrams and Church Road. It was a Presbyterian Church over there about Lake Hollis. I, and I went there for a few weeks and my mother was like, hey, we need to get you into a real church. So, um, um, so now I went ahead and I, and I, and my mother looked up a church in the phone book. <laughs> so we started going to apostolic church and then, um, and then so on and so on. And then it went off from there. Um, you know, you know, God knew what he was doing the whole time, you know, um, <laughs> But really, really, my, my thing is that I wanted to explain to y'all, y'all, I don't know what goes on in the spiritual realm, man. But y'all, when I tell y'all, I got tears in my eyes right now. You may not be able to see them, but I got tears. That's, that's why you hear my voice slurring. Like, that's why you hear my voice kind of like getting kind of mushy because I got tears thinking about it just seemed so different. Like when I when I first got saved, it just seemed like I don't know why, but it seemed like everybody was giving me dirty looks and just like dirty looks and and um and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And I was like you know, and, and then, you know, the biggest battle you face is, God, why do you let Satan do all this? Y'all, let me tell you something. 
I've been in the hood, so you probably can hear it in my voice. <laughs> um, but y'all, like, when I was there, it's like, I kind of, um, man, it's hard to explain, but, um, man, I love these pine cones. I smell so good, <laughs> excuse me, but. It's hard to explain, but the thing is, it's like, I had basically, man, I can't even find the words. I got people out here watching me and stuff. I'm sitting in the part on the side of the road taking a break. But they ain't going to let that get me nervous, though. <clears throat> I'm going to keep on testifying. I don't want to make it too long, but I'm going to testify until I get done. But, um, so, the biggest battle, man, was like, God. Why you? I know the enemy is real. Like, wow, this is always happening. I feel like people are giving me mean mugs, especially when you're living in the hood. You first come to the Lord. People are giving me mean mugs. And, like, I just feel like people that I don't even know are looking at me different. I'm like, and I don't even know you. I'm like, so, and you know what? To be honest with you, it kind of made me happy because I was like, People are looking at me funny, and I'm, I'm, and I just got saved. I don't even know you, but you're looking at me funny. Like y'all ever noticed that? Like if anybody ever got saved, and it's like you just walking down the street, and I don't know what it is, but people just be giving you angry, evil looks, and you ain't even did nothing. You don't even know them from I don't know nothing. So it kind of made me happy. Cause I was like. It kind of helped me to realize what the Bible said. You're going to have persecution. It said people, all men are going to hate you. So, the, see, remember Jesus said that that scripture may be fulfilled. Remember Jesus said that I'm going to do certain things that scripture may be fulfilled that you may believe. See, when Jesus says that, that that's what got me, y'all. That's what got me. I was like, Lord, how can I believe all this, this, all the spiritual stuff that your word is talking about? How do I believe that? And then when I got saved and then everything was falling into place, like scripture said, all men would hate you. You're going to suffer persecution. You know, you got to suffer in this life. Men shall speak all manner of evil to you because of my name's sake. When that stuff started happening, it hurt. But now I was like, I got kind of happy. I was like, this is what the Bible say. <laughs> so yeah, that's y'all first sign of hope right there. When things happen and you start to, you know, you start to feel like um, that. So I'm going to give y'all a quick testimony, y'all, about the suffering of the suffering of Jesus and that all men will hate you. Um, not saying that people can't, you can't get better but the fact is that you know you you um you, you're gonna suffer you know what i'm saying and the fact is that you're gonna suffer and that uh sooner or later you're gonna you never know you know you may change that person but to god be the glory i uh, just want to share a testimony with y'all and hey god bless y'all i'm coming through with some more y'all coming through with some more man hey man if you looking to get on fire for christ man i got you man i got you we in this thing man we in this thing and the devil gonna test you the devil gonna test you you know whatever whatever he gonna do he gonna do the one thing i always thought about i said man look you know when you living for the lord one thing you gotta always realize like hey if god wants you to die see i'll tell you right now I know when I first came to the law, I said, the devil's real, and he's speaking to me, telling me I'm going to die. See, the, the devil will make you feel like you're going to die because you're serving the Lord. Like, he'll, like, it's it's tough because as people who have never really been in the faith, it's hard to really understand, like, where is this devil coming from? Like, how do I know this is the devil? Like, why would God, people have always related to God, or people have always related to Life is being okay if you just be moral and stuff like that. So why is God allowing some satanic spirit to do all this? But see, we got to break from 
what we think is the truth to what the Bible says. We have to break away from the things that people have told us to believe in what's real. See what I'm saying? That's that's the thing. So we got to do that. Um, yeah, so that's the thing, man. We got to do that. And we have to understand, like, it's clues. There is clues. Whenever, whenever the enemy puts some put some in your mind it's like that just goes to help you to believe the word of God <laughs> you see what I'm saying like when the devil's like when you're thinking all these in negative thoughts it's like well this is exactly what the Bible is saying the Bible says you shall suffer persecution the enemy is the accuser of brethren so it just goes to fulfill scripture so y'all that's one way you can know that the word is real right there but y'all, hey, look here, man. I'm on the road, y'all, and I'm, I gotta focus on traffic. And um, but I'm gonna come back, man, soon with another testimony. But I hope that helps somebody, bro. I hope that helps somebody, man. You know, I've been in this thing for a little while. You know, I mean, not a little while. But I've been in this thing for a while. You know, and I'm just, I'm striving. I'm doing my best. You know, at the end of the day, y'all. At the end of the day. What you got to say is, you know, this, this the top ass you got to have is, hey, look, I don't, I don't know. You know, all I know is, is that if I do my best for what Jesus asked me to do, if anything happens to me, you need to, you need to say, look, I, I'm just going to have faith because the Bible said so. And if God of the whole universe sees I'm trying to do the best I can, if he sees that something's going wrong in my life, you got to believe that God will show you. If you're trying to do the right thing, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of, well, do I really have to do all that? And do I really have to suffer this persecution that's almost deathly? It's, 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 it's almost to the point where I feel like, man, bro, if I do all this, bro, something bad might happen to my life. Like, I might pay my tithing or give my time to God and praying. Something bad might happen. I might die. I might lose something. If you Just have faith in God. Have faith in God. That's that's the biggest thing. Have faith. You know what? If I, if, I, if I get down and pray for two or three hours, if I get my word for four or five hours, you see what I'm saying? If I turn on some worship music for four, for, for as long as I desire until I just get my, until I just, until something happened supernaturally. If I just gotta cry out, if I gotta, if I gotta holler, if I gotta raise up my voice to the Lord with the voice of triumph, whatever I gotta do, have faith in God that if whatever you're doing for the Lord is wrong, have faith that He gonna show you. He gonna show you that whatever you're doing, like if you feel like, man, I ain't got time to pray, I gotta be working, something bad gonna happen, or what? Not working. I mean, of course you gotta go. I'm just saying, like. Like if you gotta miss a meal or something, and you like, oh man, I got, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I got, I gotta go eat. I can't be praying. Man, you can pray real quick. You ain't gotta eat that meal, or you ain't gotta be watching TV when you should be reading the Bible, bro. You ain't gotta be on the phone with somebody talking about some, about some goofy stuff. If you could be talking to the Lord, even if you feel like God ain't listening, that's how you get close to God, man. Stop playing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get real, bro. If you got to disrespect some folks, bro. If you got to cut some folks off, bro. If you got to feel like a straight idiot, bro. In your life for not for, the, uh, for not getting with the women. Not going to the clubs. Not smoking the weed. Not drinking not drinking all this alcohol. Getting all drunk. You know what I'm saying? You may be able to drink a little something. You can't like, get all drunk. But with it, anyway, what I'm saying is like... Or maybe not spending all this time just... Not spend all this idle time doing nothing. So the thing is, take all that time and spend it for the Lord. And have faith that if you're doing something wrong, if all that stuff ain't necessary, God gonna show you. But don't tell, don't say it ain't necessary and don't even try to find out if maybe it is necessary. That's how you find out. Because the Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. So have some faith and try to please God, man. Forget all this stuff out here, man. If you got to die trying, die trying to get right with God. So I'm saying, 
if somebody going to take you out because you're trying to do the right thing, because they think you a righteous square, so be it. But say, Lord, I'm going to do the best I can. To, 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 that's how I started when I, was, when I first started with the Lord. That's how I first started. I was like, I don't care what people think. When you off in the in the hood, and these Negroes think you you square for going to church, reading your Bible, don't want to smoke no dro. When 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 these dudes on the block talking about you want that dro, talking about you want that you want some of that fire, bro. And you look at them like I'm good, bro. They looking like bro, you better you better come on fire, put this pistol on you, and take your money. You gotta be like, bro, look here, I'm still gonna say no. When the girls looking at you like you're a coward because you don't wanna you don't wanna do the wrong thing with them, I'm still gonna say no. You see what I'm saying? You got to be a man. You got to say, Lord, that Bible says test the spirit and see if it be of God. Don't be scared to do what you think is right in the eyes of the Lord. And trust in him to show you if you may be overdoing it. Maybe you may be overdoing it. Maybe you doing it. Maybe you are. Spend so much time in prayer. Maybe God do want you to get up and have a little fun and enjoy your life. But don't be scared to try. In Jesus' name. God bless you and your family. This is real life. We get into the end times. And it's time to get ready. It's time to say whatever it takes in Jesus' name. To God be the glory. I thank you. Have that faith. Because the devil is a liar. In Jesus' name. And I hope for the best for everybody listening to this, to this video right here. Because we're trying to make it. we trying to make it. And we try to have, we need to have faith to make sure that we test the spirit. To make sure that it's of God. I'd rather test the spirit and make sure it's of God than to not test it and not know it all. Because God is gracious. The Bible says God is gracious, kind, and full of mercy. He gonna tap you on the shoulder and say, boy, yeah, yo, calm down a little bit. You gotta relax. You can have a little fun in life. But he ain't gonna tell you not to pray. He ain't gonna tell you not to read the Bible. He ain't gonna tell you, he, he not gonna tell you you ain't gotta do all that. So stop, stop not, you need to try something. And let God stop you if you doing too much. Let God stop you. Don't, don't, don't tell God that that's too much. Don't, don't, don't lean on your own understanding. In Jesus' name, God bless you. God bless your folk. And get on track with the Lord. And don't be no, don't be, don't be, don't be soft with the Lord. He a strong, mighty, awesome God. Do your best for him. And he gonna let you know, he gonna let you know the deal. In Jesus' mighty, wonderful name, y'all have a blessed and wonderful, glorious day, and I hope this bless your soul now and forevermore. In Jesus' wonderful name, I'm out. Peace.